my flight to Copenhagen is tomorrow and I'm doing my check-in right now. I just noticed that they have this option on Air France. It's really cool because you get to offset your carbon emissions. Out of my practice with minimalism was to get ready for this day and traveling as lightly as possible. Okay, so everything is almost ready for my departure. Um, I have my little list of things to do here. Yeah, it's all good. I think I'm gonna struggle a little bit with my suitcase because it's super heavy and my backpack will be heavy as well. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I honestly hate having a lot of stuff and having heavy stuff on me. I don't like to carry heavy stuff. It really, really annoys me. So I. My interest in minimalism is not only to, you know, have less stuff for the purpose of having less stuff. It's honestly because I hate having heavy luggages and heavy, heavy backpacks on me. So I'm trying to minimize my belonging so that it just feels nicer to travel. <laughs> on the most perfect day because the weather is amazing and starting tomorrow it's gonna rain a lot. D'ailleurs ça, moi je pensais que c'était des poivrons et j'en ai mangé un et en fait c'était des chili peppers et ça m'a défoncé la bouche. <rire> Puis là il y a des petites tomates. Hey. Here's the living room. Uh, and I have my roommate upstairs as well. This is the kitchen area. I'm gonna take you to my room. This is one room, the bathroom, my roommate's room, and this is my room. Uh, I need to get some bed sheets. So this is one of the rooms and it looks so cute. I really like it. I actually want this to be my room, maybe. Um, I might consider moving here later. Because for me, the most important thing is that there is a lot of light. I'm gonna consider it. First night in my new home. I'm really getting along with my new roommate, Camille, and we went for drinks and then pizza, and she showed me around a little bit. So it was really cool and we talked a lot, a lot. And um, it's always a little bit weird when you arrive in a place that's furnished and you know that the furniture used to belong to other people. And it's like you enter a room and nothing is yours and you have to make it yours. But it's obviously the first night, so it's normal that I feel a little bit. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, can I guys? Thing. Is it weird? No, it I like... think it's pretty cool. Yeah? But I sure you want to be with the, at the window? <laughs> Something between my teeth? No? Oh, good, okay. <sighs> Gotta put on the social butterfly mode. It's actually pretty cold today. <laughs> it's like August 25th and I already feel like I need gloves to ride my bike. <laughs> I 
got bit by an insect. It's super red here, I think a mosquito bit my face. Fuck. Okay, I just came across a group of three French people. And I was wondering, ah, should I say hi? Should I say something? In the end I didn't because I thought maybe that's weird and I passed them for like only two seconds so I had two, sec two seconds to think like Oh, you're French! Oh, hi, I'm also from France! Oh, no. This is the area that we live in Wow, it's so nice! I just came across this and it's like perfect to do yoga I think unfortunately it's a little bit too cold to do yoga outside unless I have really good clothes and like socks and all that but yeah this could be a great place can't focus right now my eyes are like they're hurting <laughs> i have a few readings to do and it's actually weird to you know start doing readings again i haven't done those in like a year and a half it's so weird to go back into the school system and you know become a student again and have homework and assignments and all that like my brain is not yet ready for that but i'm l looking forward to the moment where my brain is going to be like warmer and so it's gonna be easier to study it's gonna become less of an effort i think because I'll, I'll be like you know in the flow of things also like something that i've been feeling is a little bit of social anxiety i mean everyone wants people to like them so i guess there's a bit of that the struggles of moving to a new place and meeting new people and doing orientation there are so many like awkward moments when you do orientation like frosh week uh, when you get to a new university it's always so awkward but it's a great learning opportunity, a great way to get out of your comfort zone and meet people. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity and the fact that my classmates are actually all so, so nice. Jacob had a question. Yeah, Jacob, go ahead. This is about learning. You're here to learn how to, to be concise and talk. Here's a little improvised salad that I made with what I had in the fridge. So there's a bit of leftover rice, zucchini, raw zucchini, tomatoes, chickpeas, and walnuts. Yay! And I actually don't like walnuts that much, but I always put them in salads because it's the only way that I can actually eat them. Guys, the weather is like incredibly so like I have no words because it's it's so warm and it's like you know there's a fresh breeze, so it's not even too warm. And I can be like in a little dress and not feel cold and I have the sun. <sighs> it's perfect. I feel like this is so rare in Sweden, so you really have to enjoy, like to really enjoy the day. <laughs> I'm gonna be a tourist, okay? <laughs> 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 I feel very grateful for this opportunity to socialize with my club and new people. Oh, 
and we went zero waste shopping. I spent 60 euros. I love it. And I got this lip balm. Whoa. Wow. You picked the fun stuff. Like a girl product you celebrate with your family there. Will probably be like algae bloom yeah. and then there will be uh, the I'd be down for the curry yeah. or the baked potatoes or enchiladas. Looks so good. So cute. <laughs> wow. I want to I'm very excited to show you guys what's been up oh. and also it feels it actually feels really good to be back in this in the flow of editing I realize how much I miss it um, and it's a lot more um, stimulate uh, I mean I was gonna say it's more stimulating than um, studying but it's actually just very different. This is more like practical and I get to do stuff and, and really think and like immerse myself in it. No, it just feels, this feels really good to, to be editing at the moment. Um, I wish I could film way often, way more often and not feel bad about, you know, filming in public and filming other people. Um, I really like to film other people, but I always have to ask for consent and I'm, you know, afraid of making them feel uncomfortable. Um, so, but I want to be more um, assertive uh, when it comes to that because I just love filming others and I love when other people appear on my videos. I find it so much better than just me all the time. Like, I don't, yeah. Like, I don't want to appear on every single shot all the time. Uh, I don't want it to be like me, 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 you know, on the videos. I like to include other people as well. But not everyone is comfortable on camera and not everyone wants to be on YouTube. So I also understand that. I'm finding it quite hard to balance like work, like academia and all of my other activities. It's been hard to find time to edit and also find time to do my yoga teacher training, which I'm really behind. Um, but I need to get into the flow of that. And same for the violin, I only practiced twice since I've been here and it's been like two weeks since I've been here and I need to find a teacher so I really want to get back into, into that flow as well. I think I'm starting to be more settled and it's now the right moment to bring back those activities that I was doing previously and try to merge them with my um, school work, uh, trying to find a good balance uh, with that. And at the same time, still have fun and still go out on the weekends. Uh, apparently, there's a lot of raves going on uh, in Sweden, in Malmö. Um, not really in Lund, but in Malmö or Copenhagen. So that's pretty cool. Um, I need to dance. <laughs> I really need to dance. And I think in this whole transition thing, it's really something that makes me very happy. Dancing feels amazingly good. You can connect with people, but you don't feel so much anxiety over like talking and finding common interest because you're just dancing and connecting on the energy that goes on when you're in a rave so that's i don't know i i like it but i also like to have like you know coffees with people and have one-on-ones to get to know the person so i like both but yeah Beautiful. Oof, ray of 
Mm. I've been enjoying going on walks every morning so much with my tea and now I have um, some my meditation course which has been downloaded on my phone so I can meditate outside it's so much nicer than just doing it inside you know mm, so beautiful mm, my skin has been a little itch. also I've been sleeping really weird I think there's a lot of like stuff in my unconscious that makes me, I don't know, maybe stress or overwhelm. Like I don't feel it on a day-to-day -day basis, the stress, I feel pretty relaxed. But I know there's like obviously stuff going on in my unconscious. But in day-to-day -day life, I do feel pretty relaxed and all that. Um, I mean, better than <laughs> a few weekends ago where I just broke down completely because of homesickness. But it's getting better. I, I can feel that it's getting better and you know, going on a walk every morning and starting to meditate again um, has really helped me uh, feel more grounded. I feel like recently I've been socializing a lot at least the past two days I've been going out and you know spending time with my classmates and I'm so happy I'm getting to know each one of them a little bit better the more I spend time with them I do feel a little bit insecure in big groups I'm always very self-conscious of the way I am, uh, how I speak, what I say um, and that's really really tiring and I actually haven't felt that way in a really long time like I do have to admit that this transition is not easy uh, moving to a new place, making new friends it's wow, it's been a while since I've done that every time when there's, I spend like time socializing or go to a party or a social gathering I always feel this little insecurity and I'm very self-conscious of the way I am and I'm like what should I say, what should I do, what should I not do so that's a lot on my mind uh, and I really want to get over that I'm so happy when I get to come home and see my roommates who are the people that I'm most comfortable with <laughs> you unprofessional men. Really happy I have this um, sense of stability when I'm there. And I started to meditate again, go back to my habits, um, trying to find a violin teacher. I actually had like a trial lesson a few days ago. Even if everything around you is chaotic, if you have stability, like maybe in your home or going back to your, to your routine from before you left or like your habits, it really helps to um, have this stability. And so when it's chaotic around you and you're overwhelmed by meeting new people or lots of things happening, you can get back to that space and like get back to this structure, this routine or whatever it is that you created for yourself. I will see you guys. <laughs> I, want, I want to say very soon. I will try to make it soon. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for being here and I will see you guys. Later.